If all we have on our website is an opportunity to book a call, schedule a consultation, fill out your contact form, like we have a really, really low chance at converting Mary into a lead, into a, uh, you know, a future prospect. Hey guys, welcome back to Builder Funnel TV. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build a marketing funnel. Now, this is something that we talk a lot about here at Builder Funnel. And I think the long game is something that a lot of people overlook. So I wanna dive in and actually break down all the various steps of how you piece together a true marketing funnel because most people are only focused on the bottom. But I'm gonna show you where all the opportunity is so that you can start thinking about the long term for your business and building a really healthy, robust marketing funnel. This is, I guess, before we get into the weeds, something that I like to talk about in terms of thinking about a funnel, and especially when we're gonna talk about the top of a funnel, you're really thinking about your future self. And so this is a concept that my wife and I talk a lot about uh, for ourselves is, you know, like if we're kind of wrapping up our day, putting the kids down, uh, and they're still like, some toys out and some dishes, you know, we always think about, well, let's knock those out now. Let's, let's take care of that, those because future Spencer and future Rachel <clears throat> will really appreciate that. And so uh, when we think about the context of your marketing funnel, I want future you to be super grateful for past you that you actually took the time to think about how do I build my pipeline for the future and not just for today, this week, this month, but we're actually thinking about next month, three months from now, six months from now, even a year from now, and it gets there like that. And so I want you to hit a year from now and go, wow, I'm glad I took those steps to build a really powerful, robust marketing funnel. There's really three types of visitors that are coming to your website today, and that's tofu, mofu, and bofu. So in marketing, we love our acronyms, but basically, this is top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and bottom of the funnel. <clears throat> so like I said before, most people are focused on bottom of the funnel, but I'm gonna break down these for you. Okay, so let's start at the top of the funnel. Now this is where all the opportunity is. So bottom of the funnel leads, they have researched you, they're ready to start a project, they're, they're reaching out to you basically. But if we flip it and we go to the top, those people, they're just in research land, right? They could be a week away from making this a decision, or they could be a year away or three years away. They're just looking at design trends and they're looking for inspiration. They're hitting websites, they're on social media, they're on Pinterest, they're on house, they're reading blogs, they're doing all these things. And there's a lot of unknowns at this stage. So the opportunity really is with those people because we know a certain percentage of those people are eventually gonna to move to the middle and eventually move to the bottom where they're gonna close and become a customer. So at the top of the funnel, we have a lot of unknowns. We don't know if they're gonna buy. That's a big one, right? Some of those people just will never buy, but many of them will. But we just don't know if this person is. We also don't know when they're gonna buy. So that's another big unknown. Are they gonna buy a week from now or two years from now? And then we don't know who they're gonna buy from. So top of the funnel, Tons of unknowns, right? But that's okay. We're just gonna flow these people into the top of the funnel. We wanna capture their email. We wanna pull them into our world. And then we're gonna weed them out, you know, after that. And they're gonna move through the funnel. And we know, you know, top of the funnel is bigger, middle is a little bit smaller, and bottom is smaller. But if we widen that top, the bottom is gonna widen too. Not by as much, but you're gonna grow your business because we're gonna flow more and more people through that top. After they go through the top, they get to the middle. Now in the middle, we've kind of eliminated one of the big unknowns, and that is uh, if they're gonna buy. At this stage of the game, they have decided, hey, I'm going to move forward with a project. I am going to build a home. I am going to remodel my kitchen. And we also still don't know who they're gonna buy from. So we're making progress, right? They've moved from, eh, maybe I'll buy, maybe I won't to, okay, I'm actually gonna solve this problem. Uh, I need a bigger kitchen, I need space to entertain, and so they are gonna move forward. We just don't know when or who they're gonna buy from. And then at the bottom, we just don't know who they're gonna buy from, but they're ready to roll, right? And so if we break down the funnel in that you know, manner, we're looking at lots of unknown to a little more certainty to a lot of certainty. 
All right, so let's just use this as an example. Let's just say we've got homeowner Mary. She's our, our marketing persona, kind of our ideal client, right? She's browsing. Again, I said that she's on Pinterest, she's on How, she's kind of all over the place. When she hits your website, let's just say she's at the top of the funnel in her buyer journey. So she's not ready to talk to anyone, right? Because she's just browsing. She doesn't know if she's even going to buy yet. She wants to. She wants to purchase in theory, right? She's dreaming. Um, so if all we have on our website is an opportunity to book a call, schedule a consultation, fill out your contact form, like we have a really, really low chance at converting Mary into a lead, into a uh, you know, a future prospect. And so if you don't have anything else, she's just going to browse around and then she's gone, right? She's just going to leave because there's nothing else for her to do. She's not really at that stage yet. And so this is where the big, big opportunity is. If you can capture more Marys, then you'll have more Marys moving into the middle and more into the bottom. So we use what we call premium content, and that could be a guide, a checklist, a report, uh, it's usually just a PDF document that you create that's maybe five pages, 10 pages in length, and it's got some extra education, some extra value that she can't get just browsing your blog and your website. And so in order for her to get that, she's going to fill out a form, usually a name and an email. Uh, you can ask for more information, but at this stage we don't really need it. We just want a name and an email, and now she's in our funnel, and she is still at the top of the funnel. But from here, we actually have the opportunity to start building a connection with her and building a relationship with her because she's on our email list. Now again, if she's at the top of the funnel and we don't capture her and she leaves, opportunity is gone. Like maybe a year from now when she's ready, hopefully she hits our website again. But I don't wanna bank on hope. So we need to capture her, pull her into the funnel. Now we've got her on our email list and now we can continue to stay in touch with her. So we can send her more blog content, more education, more projects that you're completing, uh, awards that you're winning, and we're starting to build that little bit of a connection. The way this plays out is, let's take your new site. You have a way to capture top of the funnel leads. Your competitor site, they do not. Mary is a year away from doing her project. So she's browsing around, she's on social, she's on websites, she hits your site. She comes in, she browses around, she goes, hmm, this guide is pretty interesting. I'll fill out this form. Great, she gets the guide. Now she's got this branded document. She's getting educated by you, and now she's on your email list. Then she bounces over to your competitor site. Yes, they actually do that. They're gonna probably hit many of your competitor sites. So she goes over there, she browses around, but they don't have those options, right? They've just gotta contact us form, schedule a consultation. She's like, eh, I'm not ready for that. There's nothing else for her to do, so she leaves. So in this scenario, now she's gonna get email content from you at least once a month, and I hope twice a month, and you can go check out our video on uh, email frequency and types if you wanna learn more about that. But now she's getting regular communication from you twice a month. So now she's getting to know you, she's getting exposed to your brand, she's seeing your content more and more, and now we're gonna fast forward six months. Now she knows a lot more about you, not a lot more about your competitor because again, they have no way of staying in contact with her because they didn't capture her early enough in the research process. Now we keep going. We fast forward six more months. She's actually ready, right? She's browsed a whole bunch of stuff. She's gotten a ton of inspiration, but you've been there every step of the way, kind of guiding her, educating her, explaining the process, introducing new trends, showing her portfolio projects, um, all these types of things, linking to blogs, linking to videos. Now she really knows you. She kind of has a little bit of a bond with your brand and your company. So now she's at the, the bottom of the funnel. She's worked her way through. She's going, I need to reach out to some companies uh, to see if they can solve my problem. Well, you're gonna be at the top of the list because you've been there every step of the way. And so she's definitely book a meeting from you, maybe with your competitor, but chances are she's just gonna do a new Google search, again, a year from where she started, and whoever pops up, she'll probably contact a couple more companies, but you're gonna be the one that she's benchmarking against because she's gotten to know you and trust you. She's just kind of getting those other companies involved just to kind of 
do her due diligence and you know most people just need to do that for themselves they're not just going to buy from that first person and so again they're kind of in the hole kind of benchmarking against you you're in the lead and you've got that first opportunity so when you go back and think about the beginning of this video when i talked about future you by installing some of these top of the funnel lead conversion strategies on your website and really building a robust marketing funnel which is top middle and bottom which means capturing somebody at the top, nurturing them while they're in the middle, that's that email component, and then when they get to the bottom, that's the phone call, the schedule a consultation, the actual meeting piece, you have built a much stronger pipeline than your competitors because you were thinking about a year from now and saying, hey, I'm gonna get all the bottom of the funnel leads that I normally get, you're always gonna get those because there's always about 3% of the market that's ready to buy today but what about the other 97% that are just browsing and looking around? Well, you captured a bunch of them a year ago, so now they're ready, and your bottom of the funnel is probably double what it was if you had not done these things. So again, that's how you build a really strong marketing funnel and how you actually construct it. So you need top of the funnel, lead capture content, capture those leads early, nurture them, again, through email in the middle of the funnel, and then they'll move their way down to the bottom of the funnel. So hopefully that helps. I really encourage you to take some action out of this video because a lot of times you watch something you go, yep, that sounds good. I think that might work for my business, but then you get busy. But if you just take a couple of steps today to work on building your first top of the funnel lead capture point, a guide, a checklist, a report, something where somebody has to fill out a form to get access to it, you will start building your top of the funnel today and your future self will thank you tomorrow, which is really six, 12 or 18 months from now. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Builder Funnel TV.